Hey there, Clashers. Welcome to another episode of Clash with Quant. This is going to be a Rage and War Top 4. Let's go ahead and take a look right away at the first attack, and that's going to be OP attacking the enemy's number 2. With a hybrid, hybrid army, we have Bloons, Hogs, Wizards, and Golems. So, whole go low. First thing OP does is he drops two golems very wide towards these outside cannons. Now this is, I think, what's called the general base, or a variation of it. It's been beat 10,000 times on the internet. Here's just another way to do it. OP is going to put wizards behind the golems on the inside, break open the uh, first layer with uh, <laughs> wall breakers, poison those clan castle troops and the queen. She's going to slow down. His king goes in. And his king's going to beat a wall until I think it gets through to that queen. Ah, here comes his jump spell. He kind of forgot about it, I think. And his king queen down like the king should do in all attacks. And his queen is actually going to go walk around the bottom, which is fine. He drops a couple of hogs to help that queen get rid of the, uh, the archer tower that was down there. Here come his hogs from the right-hand side under a heel right away. Keep them alive as long as possible. And his hogs are going to work through the base. And then he's going to go ahead and drop another heal. And here come his balloons up top. His kill squad is essentially dead at this point, except on the bottom. You can see you're beating on a wall. His balloons are going to take out whatever the hogs are not taking out. His heals are going to continue to heal those hogs as they work their way down this, what I'll call a an alley that has nothing but defenses packed in tight. And eventually they're going to get to that last Airdy so that he will have a couple more balloons to help with cleanup. So one more defense, and it's that wizard tower, and there we go. It is cleanup time for OP. He's dropping his wizards in a very smart top up top, the very smart spot, excuse me, up top and at the side. Those are the areas that had initially been cleared by his defensive clearing troops, the hogs and the balloons. And I think that's great because... As the hogs and the balloons work their way through a base, they're going to be on the opposite side of the base. And when they get to that opposite side of the base and they clear all the defenses, they're going to start clearing whatever structures are on that last side they've been to. So if you put the wizards on the side that the hogs or the balloons first started at, they will start clearing that side of the base for you. And what's left is just the town hall and the king. <laughs> the balloon and the hogs are going to stop and get that king. But... There's not enough firepower left, and OP gets that three-star. Great job, OP. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next attack, and I think this one is also by OP as well. Let's see. Yep, OP is going to have a six-star war, so war OP. And we have a square base inside of a square inside of a square with no giant double bomb spots, so this is just going to be a straight-up go hole. Here comes his kill squad. Two golems and wizards behind, so he's clearing all those junk structures that wise distract his king and queen when they go in. And the enemy's queen was so poorly placed, he really didn't need a kill squad, but you still use it because it's practice for harder bases. And that clan castle, the enemy clan castle, is <laughs> so easily lureable, and it only had a couple of archers in it. Uh, so OP's going through the motions here. It's always good to practice the motions. And he's going to go ahead and rage his troops, probably where... Traditionally, you would rage it for the Archer Queen or the Clan Castle if it would have been a better design base. His hogs are already coming in on the back side. Look at that. He just did a massive wall of hogs. I didn't even remember him doing that. Two heels where those hogs are going to be pathing. Oop, except he did misplace that one, and the hogs just kind of evaporated with that one bomb. But his kill squad's working its way through the base. There's still one more heal. He uses the poison to slow down the king and heal his hogs up. The hogs are going to jump right into that heel. And now the hogs are just working on the core. The queen is yep, working on the town hall and his hogs. You know what? All the giant bombs, I think, have been detonated at this point. So really nothing's going to stop his, his hogs from uh, meandering their way throughout the base to go to the final air defense and the Tesla. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Tesla goes down, it's cleanup time after the hogs beat that king down like they should. And there we have it, OP's second three-star of the war. Good job, OP.
Now we're going to go to Commander, the Town Hall 8 Assassin. I think he had another 6-star war on fresh bases. Okay, Commander's attacking number 4. And it is going to be a Goho. Town Hall 8 Goho, I love these. First things first, we're going to lure that clan castle. Bunch up those troops as best as possible. And he does that, I think, with a giant, then a hog. Here comes the... Um, final lure. He just uses one wizard, a sacrificial wizard, I'll call it, to bunch up all of his troops and up oh, another sacrificial wizard, I'll call it. And I think they're bunched up enough. Yep, and another sacrificial wizard on top of it. So three wizards, no big deal. Poison goes down, and those troops are disintegrated. It's so easy with that poison spell. It's almost too easy. So here comes his first golem. Uh, at the bottom of the base and then he's going to put some wizards just one on each structure and then his second just one wizard on each structure because he wants to slowly burn his way into that base this group of wall breakers boom second group of wall breakers boom you see they just got in there everything was all the defenses were distracted by the golems and they were well placed his king goes in uh, a couple more wizards go down. Actually, he saves three more wizards. He's going to burn his way deep into this base before he drops any hogs. Here come oh, the first group of hogs, and they landed right on a giant bomb. Look at that. And he's going to heal those right away so that giant bomb did nothing to him. And you could see that that go white portion cleared that complete base. And when... Uh, commander sent in his first group of hogs. They took care of the middle section. The second group took care of the corner. The final group he sent in took care of the center right here. All into a heel. One more heel. All of his hogs are in one giant group. Does he even use the heel? He, he's notorious for doing a swag heel. No, he does use that heel. He had a couple skeletons attacking his hogs as well as king. So he wanted to save whatever health there was remaining on his hogs. So they could, get, they could get that king and the skeletons. But there you have it. Really just that simple. Three separate locations where the hogs went in. And I think they were under heel the entire time or almost the entire time. And the reason that was possible, that first go wipe portion with just two golems and what, seven or eight wizards? That pushed so deep into the base, it allowed his remaining hogs to have just a small area to work in. And once again completely demolishes a base. And our last attack is also going to be from Commander. And Commander is going to three-star this base on its first attack. This is one of those tricky bases where there could be a giant bomb in any of these bays. So Commander first lures that clan castle. He has a hog down. Here comes another hog. So he had 16 hogs. Just enough to lure the clan castle. And then he's going to use one of his wizards to lure those hogs out or excuse me lure the archers out and the wizard here we go so he's going to use another wizard to bunch up the enemy's troops and one more wizard nope he just goes ahead and uses the poison and look at that poison drop perfect those troops looked kind of far away from me but they were he had a good aim in getting that poison in the right spot so here comes the first golem right at the king. You'll see it goes right at the king. He wants that king down so his troops aren't, his hogs are not being beat by the king. The other golem goes down. Everything's followed by wizard. Look, it's like one wizard per structure. That's all you need because the golems are tanking for for all the defenses that are would have would be attacking. Uh, so a couple wall breakers get sent in to open up those bays. Oh, and look, he even gets to the center. Look at that. Wow. So his golems are going to go right to the middle of the base. And he has wizards behind. And his king is on the outside. Now here comes a couple of hogs. I think just six. And he's going to go ahead and beat those down. Here comes a group of hogs right into a different section. He's going to drop a heel because there's possibly a giant bomb location. Oh, what do you know? He found a giant bomb. And then the rest of his hogs this last bay he uses a heal because there could be a giant bomb and what do you know he found a giant bomb there's still one more heal and he's going to hold it for where that last bomb location could possibly be and i think um yep he his hogs got right on the edge of where that bomb exploded so he only had three or four spots where the 
where the giant bombs could be and enough heals to cover it because his hogs are pathing in one direction because his his um, golems and wizards took out that top portion of the base. So he knew exactly where his hogs were going to be headed. So he had a path of heals conveniently located and available for or conveniently placed because he had an idea of where those double giant bombs could be loaded and he pre-healed or healed as he may have uh, discovered the bombs if he wasn't pre-healing. So really good attack once again by Commander. There we have it, another three-star Town Hall 8 go-ho. Just get the motions down, folks, and you'll be able to three-star almost any Town Hall as a Town Hall 8. So thanks for watching Clash with Quant, Rage and More Top 4. Click the like button while you're here, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and leave some discussion about your Town Hall 8 attacks. We'll see you next time.